Welcome to Stepdad Success, turning the tide on the way stepdads are seen and show up in the world. We're a new breed of leaders raising leaders. Blood or no blood, we raise them as our own. We're connected, loving, and committed to leading them into the future. If you asked a normal dad, he'd say we're doing the impossible. He'd say, but they're not yours. How do you do it? Yet every day, stepdads around the world are forging the way. That's what we call stepdad success. We're leaders raising leaders. And these are our stories. G'day, it's James Klobasa from Stepdad Success. And today I want to talk about the art and science of living well. Now, I know I haven't been talking much about our step step children, you know. For me, as I said, this podcast is really all about the stepkids. It's about the kids. It's about being a great stepdad, as the title goes, Stepdad Success. But what does that take? Really, this is all about the art and science of improving yourself, becoming a great leader so you can raise another great leader. So when we're talking about the art and science, you know, a lot of people study many different things in their life. You know, we grow up through school and we learn certain things about how we should be. You know, we might learn at school, wow, I've I've got to have a great career. I've got to have, you know, sporting abilities. And then we get a bit older and we learn more about business and we, we learn, you know, we need to make more money. We need to become proficient in what we do. As we get older, we start to learn, oh, wow, there's a bit more, bit more to the spiritual side of life. We have to understand maybe something like meditation. We might go on retreats. We might do yoga. We might study some of the religions. We might have grown up in a religious family, so that might have been first in our life. These are all separate pieces in our life. And when we're talking about the art and science of living well, it's really about piecing all of those together in a way that they mesh together throughout your life. It's not about becoming great at business, not about becoming great at religion. It's not about becoming a great sports person or great at relationships. It's about having everything rise at the same time. And I was just talking to a client of mine a few days ago. We sat down, um, we surfed in the morning and we caught up for breakfast after that. And we discussed a few things around business, but then it got into a bigger conversation around living well. And him being a stepdad as well, you know, we're out in the ocean, he's telling me how he's been connecting with his stepson lately, how there's been a lot of disconnection and a lot of, you know, that's transforming, starting to turn into a lot of, a lot more connection. And then we went on, as I said, talked about business. We talked about life and we talked about the bigger question, you know, who he wants to be. Like, why are we, why is he doing everything that he's doing? You know, and we consult, you know, my background is consulting on business, online business. So we're helping, helping grow that side of things. But again, helping on the step parenting side of things and just understanding more about the relationships that he has. We talked meditation. We talked relationships. We talked fitness. We talked business. We talked across the board. As I said, having just one of these in place and ex, you know, expanding in just one arena is great for, pe- for a period of time, but it always seems to fall down. Or we might be great and we, we, what falls down is the rest. You know, our fitness or our relationships fall down. When we talk about having an art and a science behind of these, it's, it's about having the pieces, all of the pieces. And I talked in depth about, you know, across body being balance and business in the last four episodes. And really we, we need to be able to implement the science across those four areas. And I gave you pieces of that science. Now, where does the art come into it? Well, the art is us making it our own. You know, as I talked to my client the other day, you know, he was wondering how can he fit all this into his day? He's already busy. He's already got lots of things on the go. And I said, you know, that's not up to me to tell you how to implement the art in your day. That's for you to work out, to test. 
Try things at night time. Try things in the morning. Try things in the middle of the day. Try things on your lunch break. Take the extra time. Maybe get up an hour earlier. But having the pieces, having the science in place is what's really important. Understanding, you know, as I said earlier, we, we learn so many different things as we're growing up and going through life. I wish I'd learnt all of this, you know, at, at 10 or 12 years old, just as I'm teaching my boys. I wish I had all of this so that I could have a foundation to build upon. Because if we have no foundation, we're constantly in flux. We're constantly expanding in one area and re- reducing in another. Whereas now, and as I talked about, swinging singles every single day across the board, all four areas of our, our life can expand and grow and rise up at the same time. And that's a powerful place to be in. That's where momentum is truly built. So when we talk about the art and science, it's how can you make this part of your life? How can you put your own little spin on it? And I don't mean put your own spin on it and reinvent the wheel and change something. I just mean fit it into your life so that it's actually fun. It took me a long time to understand, you know, all of the science of this and then put it into my life as art where I could enjoy it every single day. I love my meditation. I love writing my sticky notes and sending messages to my loved ones. It actually brings me joy. It brings me a lot of happiness. I love my morning workouts and running on the beach and surfing and going to the gym and all those different pieces that I put into my life as my art. And this is what you need to create for yourself. You need to be able to think about all the pieces of the science and then make them artful in your life. Because I tell you what, you know, I think in one of the earlier episodes, I talked about getting excited in life. And my young boy, Che, you know, was just swimming in the ocean. He just let go one day and was like, I'm just so excited. That's how we want to be. That's how we want to wake up every morning. That's how we want to, you know, our last thoughts at night before we go to bed. Remember, people, this is about the art and the science using the scientific pieces that have been proven with hundreds of men, using the scientific pieces that can push us forward in all areas of life, and then wrapping your own art around it and making it an absolute joy to jump out of bed every morning and make it your own. You know, conquer the day for you, not to compare yourself against someone else, just to conquer the day for you, to have an awesome day, to have an awesome day every day and to create awesomeness around you. You know, most people are happy. They're just kind of sitting in, well, life's good at the moment. Life's comfortable. You know, when I I was telling my client the other day, like with my relationship with Leonie, I actually don't want it to be just good. I want it to be great. I want to have an awesome sex life. I want us to go out and, and talk and have fun and you know, just have a ball together. I want us to be old and gray and wrinkly and still be laughing every day. And that's why I do this. And what's behind it is the science. And I've made the science my own through my own art. So I want that for you today. Maybe hit your journal, write down just some of the pieces of the science Go back and listen to the first few episodes, three, four, five episodes, where I go through all of that. Understand how you can put those pieces into your life and create the art around it. Have a great time today, and I'll talk to you soon. Would you like to learn more about how stepdads across the globe are joining forces in raising the next generation of leaders? then head to www.stepdadsuccess.com and grab all the show notes plus a copy of the brand new tactical guide for creating more happiness, health, wealth and wisdom as a stepdad. And if you liked the podcast, please share it with other stepdads you know and leave us a review on iTunes. Again, that's www.stepdadsuccess.com for all the show notes and tactical guide. Come and join the new breed of stepdads, the growing group of leaders raising leaders.